that go into courts and uh, because of the Freedom Information Act, we can Xerox those cases. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to Film Top. What seems to be a real courtroom is not really what it looks like. This is a list of uncommon truths about what the mass public loves but does not know the truth about. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. Alright, let's get to it. Number 8. Producers All the cases presented before the judge are not chosen by her, instead by the producers of the show. The basic criteria being whether these cases will be exciting to watch on TV or not. Once one of the producers tried to convince a man to come on TV and solve his personal family matter. Girlfriend, uh, mother, daughter, father, son, brother, brother, sister, sister. That way it pulls in the audience a little bit more. Number 7. Producers pay the fines. Very, very far away from reality comes this show of a magical land where even if a person loses a case, they do not have to pay the fines. Whatever fines Judge Judy decides, as a punishment are all covered by producers, according to the contract that everyone signs before coming on to the show. Number 6. People get paid to come on the show It is very close to an all-expenses-paid vacation. Both the sides are paid for their appearance on the show, their travel expenses, and any witnesses they wish to bring. The witnesses should be related to the case, however. This oftentimes leads to the witnesses lying just to be there. Number 5. Fabricated Cases People do fabricate entire cases just to be on the show. I mean, cannot blame them, it's an all-paid trip to Las Vegas, Sin City. This happened when a man named Colbert fabricated a case of two broken TVs and a cat, along with two friends of his. They were inspired by a friend of theirs who came onto the show in the 90s. After being confronted, the man said he did not feel guilty the least bit. Number 4. Not a real judge on the show Judge Judy was appointed judge by the mayor at that time in 1982, but she's not a real judge on the show. She's not bound by legal procedures or courtroom behavior or anything. She does not even need evidence of all sorts to make a case, also whatever verdict she gives is not under consideration of law practice. That is why the guy mentioned above must have not taken her seriously. Number 3. Bailiff Bird Bird was an ordinary side character and did not have much significance until one day, while in an attempt to get a guy to confess. She looked at Bird and they had a little comedic dialogue. That is when Bird's character started rising to being involved in banter with the judge. This gave him a raise in his paycheck too. When Bird was asked what is actually on that clipboard of his, he said it is a crossword puzzle adorable. Number 2. Bird and Judy the dynamic duo of Judge Judy and Bird was not driven from thin air. They used to work in the real courtroom in Manhattan, and that is where it started. Though Bird almost took things to the very edge once, when he put on a robe and glasses and impersonated Judge Judy. And worst of all, she saw it. However, Bird was lucky that she had a sense of humor and did not really mind. Number 1. Rich Bird before the show started, Bird was struggling financially. He was a counselor and would deliver pizzas, barely making $30,000 a year. When he got to know about the filming of Judge Judy, he wrote his former colleague Judy a letter saying that if she needed a bailiff, he still looks good in a uniform. To his fortune, she replied that they actually were looking for a bailiff and then they hired him. Now he does not make as much money as the star Judy herself, but according to Celebrity Net Worth, he's currently worth $3.5 million. Plenty of money for his side role. I hope you like the untold truths about Judge Judy, the largely famous TV show. From real eye openers to fun information, we covered it all. This brings us to the end of our video, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then let us know by liking the video. Stick around for more amazing content, as we will be soon seeing you in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.